Welcome back to Mechland Cadets. Today we are going to remove some fenders and a dash panel, one of them dash bezels right there from this uh, 1710. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do it. Uh, we're going to remove the seat first. You already are in the stand. We're gonna do this unedited, just like most of all of my videos. And uh, you can see how quickly we'll do this. It's not a big deal whatsoever. Okay, the center uh, standard covers off. There's the seat. Now we have to take the safety switch off right here. And most of the time you can do these by hand. Not every time, but most of the time. This one here, we're not going to be able to. It takes a five eighths to do that. That one's gonna be a little bit tougher than usual. We're gonna to have to get a pair of vice grips or something to hold that. I do have a set of Here's the first one. I cracked that switch taking it out so it's not any good, but that's a switch you have to take out if that'll loosen the fenders right up because that it holds, uh, goes through the battery tray also. So we're gonna move you off to the side. We're going to take the bolts off on the floorboards right here. It takes a half inch to do that. I save all these bolts right here. The ones, this one right here is a little bit longer. You can see that one there is a little bit longer than these right here. We're gonna go to the other side.
Okay. Now we're gonna move you right back to the back. We're going to unhook the lights. Right there's one. And there's the other one right there. When you put them lights back on and you plug them in, make sure you lubricate them really good so they push in easy. Right there's the fenders. Actually, them fenders right there, I'm thinking about using for my 1812. I believe they're going to buff out quite well. The center tunnel's really loose right here. Now we're going to take the dash bezel off. And I'm gonna take the screws out of the dash bezel first, and then we'll take the gauges uh, we'll get them loosened up and we'll pop them right out because they have to come out, out and we have to take this knob off too. Have to take the cruise control off. Take that off right there for the electric clutch. That takes a 5 8 also. Now this is how I do them. Just like that. We'll drop the screws out. If I can find my Phillips screwdriver. As rough as this machine is, this dash puzzle is in very good shape. Now I save all these screws and there is a washer that goes in right there also. So I save all that hardware right there. So if you ever come to Mac Landy and you need some hardware, I have it. Now we're going to drop the throttle out of it. Now in them washers that I showed you there, the Cyclops machines do not have that washer. drop the throttle right out of there.
Now this one here is a little bit tighter for some reason. screws are out now I'm going to move you around to the other side and we're going to take the gauges out this machine had around 1200 hours on it now the amp gauge usually takes 3 8 the hour meter takes 11 30 seconds usually um, some amp gauges are different If you get into the 1811s, they have just pull right off. But you still have, they have one nut. These have double nuts on both leads. There's your hot wire. And right there, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can repair this wiring harness. You never know when you're going to need one of these harnesses. So I put this right back on there for the simple reason is just in case I ever need it. Drop that nut. There it is. These wiring harnesses, I keep all the gauges right in it. So when I put them in, I have them, they're all set. All I have to do is drop different gauges in it. And then when the wires are going in, I plug them right in. It actually works a lot better that way. Get 11.30 seconds, and we should be able to get that gauge out. Sometimes uh, the hour meters are a little bit tougher. And I'll show you why in a minute. We're gonna be turning this nut off for quite some time. They're, they threaded them extremely long. Now these are Borg Warner gauges, uh, not the amp gauge. I believe they were made someplace in Texas. Maybe, maybe one of my viewers can tell me where, but the hour meter is definitely Borg Warner.
As you can see, they have very long threads on them for some reason. Okay, now I'm going to move the camera over to this area right here. And this dash bezel should come off. It might not come off completely easy, but we'll see. Yeah, and this one did. So that's how you do it. Uh, just patience on all this stuff here. I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, I hope you like the way I do it with the unedited so you see everything in real time. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I appreciate all my viewers and we'll definitely see you on the next video.